And I think in general, always going for the, the big global approach first is, is probably going to be too slow. Um, you need to start small, but think big. And the think big part is not optional, which means that, that while you are taking those steps, you really need to make sure that you don't have to throw everything out of the fence once you're going to, I would say, scale up to, to, to a next one or a next one. Or, so you need to find that balance a bit. But show and tell, get that, get that sponsorship um, as fast, as fast as you can. And then a bit depending on the organization, uh, you probably need to form yeah, a first ad hoc team from, from both sides. And because it is not per se about ITOT convergence, that's really important. Eh? So what you see from, an, from, an, from a team perspective is that typically if you start in a silo approach, what we would, what we would typically advise to do is, for example, to start um, a small collaboration with, with a couple of liaisons, architects, engineers from both sides working together on, on, something, on something small scale, which you, which you might want to make more formal in, an, in, a, in a project uh, organization. But if you would go for a project organization, industry 4.0 project team, smart manufacturing project team, build whatever project team, you know, all the fancy words. I think one of the anti-patterns there is that if that team reports to an innovation manager, um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's somebody, somebody disconnected from the operations silo and the IT side, then you, then you are in big problem.